So it's 2024 and email copywriting is changing. So if you're planning on sending cold outreach emails or offering email copywriting as a service, you need to be aware of these important new changes. Now on February the 1st, Google and Yahoo started enforcing new requirements and laws for individuals and companies who are sending bulk emails. And because Google controls over 75% of emails worldwide, these changes are going to affect everyone. So if you fail to follow the rules, then all of your emails are likely to be sent to the spam folder, never reaching your recipients. So here are the three things you need to do to be up to date. Firstly, domain verification is essential, especially if you're using your own domain name or even a Google workspace. You need to properly set up SPF, DMARC and DKIM settings. And secondly, make sure you clean your email list and remove any inactive email addresses or subscribers. You can use free and low cost tools like wallanorbit.com and hunter.io to verify your email addresses before you send out emails. And thirdly, make sure you include an obvious unsubscribe link at the bottom of your emails. Because if you don't do this, people are more likely to report your emails as spam. And finally, ensure that your emails are of high quality. And here are four best practices for email copywriting that you should follow. According to HubSpot.com, 50% of emails are read on smartphones. So keep your email subject lines under 70 characters so they can be easily read on a mobile phone. And when you're writing your subject line, I want you to imagine that you're writing to a friend because including the reader's first name can increase open rates by up to 50%. No one wants to receive a generic email sent to everyone. People want to feel special, like you're reaching out to them personally. And that's why it's important to personalize your emails. You can do this by giving a specific compliment, addressing a problem they may be facing, or even just mentioning a goal that you know they're looking to achieve, all in the first line of your email. Now, most business owners are busy and they're already inundated with hundreds of emails every single day. I know I am. Therefore, it's crucial to keep your email short. Anywhere from 150 to 250 words is what I recommend for your first email. You can also break longer paragraphs into shorter, more digestible chunks. I recommend no more than three lines per paragraph. And just as you wouldn't propose marriage on the first date, you shouldn't push for a sale in your first email. So I recommend avoiding asking your prospect to jump on a quick 10 minute call or to hire you right away, especially if they've never heard of you. So your goal should be to build a long-term relationship, not a quick sale. And your call to action should be a question like, would you like to see some of my portfolio examples? So following these steps will ensure your email campaigns are successful in 2024. And if you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably enjoy my free one hour email copywriting course, which you can watch by clicking on the link just above me right here. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.